In this episode, I'm going to build a Bluetooth speaker box using one of those uh, Bluetooth Class D amplifier modules. I picked up an old Sony center channel speaker from a home theater system that has two woofers in it and a tweeter. Let's convert this into a stereo single box speaker. I scored this old Sony center channel speaker. And if we look into the cover here, we see that besides the fact that the dust cap is bashed in, it has two woofers and a tweeter. And I thought, you know, this might be one to mount this 100 watt per channel. Good luck. More like 50, but it's uh, rated at 100 watts. Let's uh, mount this Bluetooth board internal in the speaker, wire everything up inside, and uh, then I'll have a little Bluetooth speaker that is uh, self-contained with a 100 watt amp. Now if we remove the two speakers, we'll see that there's actually two speakers and a single tweeter in here. And underneath here there's a crossover. So, ideally we'd want to have two tweeters, but I think I can wire this up. We'll use the crossover, we'll just use the single tweeter, and I'll use these, I want to wire these two speakers as two full range speakers, and I'm just going to use the crossover on one channel. That should sound adequate, considering that the, uh, the actual speakers are going to be pretty close together. You'll get the stereo imaging and having these both configured as full range speakers as opposed to just as woofers. They shouldn't give bad sound. We'll find out pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to power this unit up with a, a DC power brick from an old laptop. And uh, it should make it a nice, quick, and easy, and dirty project. And this was part of an SSAV33C. It's a center channel speaker. 8 ohms. I like this. Made in Canada. But uh, the uh, speakers themselves came from Taiwan. Now, of course, this thing came from back in the days of CRT televisions and projectors. And this would actually be, it would have been a center channel that probably sat on top of a projector or on top of a TV. So they're magnetically shielded. That's what those covers are on the speakers themselves, was the magnetic shielding. So these type of speakers won't interfere with a CRT picture tube. And I bet it's going to actually sound pretty good. <clears throat> because the center channel is the speaker that's responsible for the majority of the sound in a home theater system. It is one of the most important speakers of the entire system. It's the center channel. So here's the crossover. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect. I'll take out the tweeter here as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it up. I'll use the crossover for uh, one channel and the tweeter. The other channel will be wired for full range. So that should sound, I think, I think it's going to sound okay. I just want to get the speakers out of here so that I can rewire. So the blue and the white was the tweeter, which is what's marked on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that, I want to make sure that they're not wired in series, the speakers themselves. Uh, so I'm just going to just get out my meter and just check what's wired. They should be wired in parallel, I believe. So upon inspecting the crossover, I found that it is wired as I thought it was going to be wired. The speakers, the woofers are wired in parallel. So I can use the crossover for one channel and that'll have a woofer and a tweeter. And the other channel, I'm just going to wire it as a full range. So we'll just take the red and the black and I'm just going to cut them off. And we'll connect that to one channel of this amplifier board which is going to go inside the cabinet. I'm going to run the speaker wire in through the back or run the power wire in through the back Now the other wires I'm going to cut off from the input terminals where they go into the crossover. And these will just be the red and black wires here. And these ones will connect to the other output. I'm actually putting these on the right channel. 
yeah there might be a little bit of an imbalance for the treble but you know in full range mode that speaker will still perform pretty good especially with the tweeter between the two of them there's not going to be much of a loss I don't think in the actual treble itself I think it'll probably sound relatively okay I need to uh, probably put this in before I'll go through there okay When I get the board mounted in there, what I'll do is I'll I'll just put some double-sided tape on the back of this and stick it to the back of the stick it into the back of the of the box or into the back of the uh, the cross over here. So I'm going to put my power wire in the back. And we'll put the, the board in here, stuff that in there first. What would be funny is if somebody thought this was a regular speaker, tried to hook it up and wondered why they got nothing. Okay, on this side, and pull the board through here. We'll plug the power cable in, make sure that it's going to power up before we even get to hooking up wires here. Okay, if I apply power to the unit, I should see the lights light up on here. Yep, lights are lighting up, so I know it's got power. So I can now proceed to mount the the uh, crossover on the back, and then we'll get the speakers mounted. Tweeters from China. Okay, Tweeter had the white and the blue wires. There's the white and the blue is down here somewhere. And they make them different sizes so that uh, the factory workers can't screw up the uh, phasing. Okay, that's one speaker. We'll get the the next speaker in. I'll put in this one first. This one was the yellow and the brown. Now I'm going to connect it up and test it first before I secure the, uh, the Bluetooth board. So I'll leave, I won't mount this speaker initially, I'll just connect it and set it in the box. We'll test it first, make sure that it works, and then I'll stick down the board inside, set the little antenna. This is the one that I put the little extension wire on to give it a little bit more range. It's one of the first Bluetooth boards that was sent to me. I got too many of them, so I've got to find projects for them. So whenever I come across speakers, that I can utilize, I'll, I'll be building some more. Okay, we'll just set this one in here. 
and we'll plug this thing in and uh, see if it makes any noise. Then I gotta go grab my phone and pair it. Okay, let's pair it to the phone. Okay, I've now paired this to my BT speaker as I already had the pairing in here from before. Let's uh, let's play some music here. See how this sounds. Oh yes, it's gonna sound good. doesn't sound bad at all. So let's listen to some other music on this. I think I can uh, secure that uh, Bluetooth module and fasten the speaker down and uh, finish this project. There we go. I just uh, attached it. I actually didn't even have to um, put it in place with double-sided tape or anything. The wiring is quite taut in there and it holds it in place wedged between the, um, the crossover and the... You can actually see the board in the bottom here. You can actually see the little blue light flashing on it still um, where I've mounted it. Uh, it's, it's not going to move because it's got the uh, the fiberglass insulation in the speaker is wedged up against it so it's not going to move at all where it is it's not going to vibrate or anything in there because it's it's basically got fiberglass insulation underneath it and around it now remember that uh, speaker cone that is kind of pushed in well here's how you go about fixing it So did you guys learn anything here? If nothing else, that's how you fix a popped in dust cover on a speaker. And someone's come along and stuck their thumb in there. And uh, the speaker shops don't want you to know that. That they just take the old vacuum cleaner and uh, use the vacuum cleaner. 
super suction action of the vacuum cleaner to fix the speaker. Okay, now this can sit like that because now it can sit horizontally. I just gotta clean this cat hair off of here now. There's my little speaker. Sounds very good. Hey, this is how I got it. Someone says, take it away. That's how I get them. Dust. Yeah. That's uh that's this one. That's done. We're done here. There you go. Bluetooth speaker build using a dual speaker center channel for stereo sound. Sounds great. And anybody would like the sound of this. I don't know how it comes across on camera, but this actually sounds very good. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.